this was not a very bright move on their part. And I don't know that many Americans are going to think it was. I know they said we were notified. Uh, if we're notified, is the most oblique way that nobody could understand it. We're going to ask why. I went, well, two basic questions. Why weren't we specifically told about this when you're asking us for money? And secondly, whose bright idea was this anyway? Instead, we have something that now puts these young Cubans who didn't know who they were dealing with at risk because it could be so easy to go back and find out just who they communicated with. I think what we should be shocked about is that the Cubans have no access to Facebook or Twitter as opposed to the U.S. government trying to promote uh, discourse, which I think is a very good thing. And uh, it promotes the values that uh, we as a country espouse, which is democracy, dissent, uh, communication, conversation. And that's what this program was trying to do. I wish I could take credit for this program. It wasn't my idea, but it falls in line with everything I think we should be doing, which is promoting conversation, debate, um, uh, openness, democracy. And uh, that's what this program was doing. When you have a program like that uh, in a non-permissive environment, i.e. a place like Cuba, uh, you're discreet about how you implement it so that you protect the practitioners, but uh, that does not make it covert. We believe that the Cuban people need platforms like this to use themselves to decide uh, what their future will look like.